Welcome to Connection, Connection Corner. I'm Miss Kilpatrick. And I'm Miss Leaper. Last time we talked about how to resolve conflict, but what happens when you know you've done something wrong and maybe you've really hurt someone? What do you do then? Well, it sounds like you probably need to apologize. So that's what we're gonna talk about today. There's a few important steps to how to make a good apology. Number one, make sure that you and the other person are calm. It's never good to go into an apology when you're angry because you might say things that you might regret. Number two, take responsibility for your actions. Admit what it is that you did wrong. If you push someone, admit that you pushed them. If you called someone a mean name, Admit that you called them a mean name and you're sorry for that. Lying about what you did never helps the situation. It normally just makes the other person more mad at you and can even cause more trouble for you here at school or with the adults that you live with at home. So take responsibility for your actions. Number three, say, I'm sorry that I hurt you. Make sure that this apology is genuine. Don't say things where you're apologizing for how they feel, like, I'm sorry that you feel that way, or I'm sorry that you think that. Number four is change your behavior. That means do things differently next time. Because if you say you're sorry, but you keep calling people mean names, or you keep cutting in line, then it shows everyone else that you're not really sorry and you don't regret what you did. And really, you just want to get away with what you're doing without anyone being mad at you. And that's not being sorry. A lot of times, something that we hear is that someone may have told you that they don't want to be your friend anymore. So what do you do when that happens? That can be a really hard situation. And I know it probably makes you feel really upset. What you can do is you can go up to that person and let them know that you still really want to be, your, be their friend and that you know something must be wrong and you'd love to talk about it. They can make the choice of whether they're ready to talk about it or maybe they're not ready to talk about it. And you can let them know that whenever they're ready to talk, that you're still gonna be there because you value their friendship. Sometimes when you apologize to someone, they may accept your apology, but they may not wanna be your friend anymore or they may decide that your friendship, that you're not being a good friend to them. And they're allowed to decide that. Everyone has to be nice to you, but not everyone has to be your friend. So you can just let them know that you'd love to be their friend and let them decide when they're ready to come back to you. Apologizing is one of the most important parts of conflict resolution, because that's when you take responsibility, let them know you're sorry, and that you're gonna change your actions in the future. So here at Connection Corner, one of the most important things that we do is to try to teach you skills so that you can grow up and be a successful adult no matter what you do. As an adult, you're always gonna have conflict and you're always gonna make mistakes just like you do now. So it's so important that you learn how to resolve that conflict and how to apologize when you're wrong. When we're resolving conflict, we all have the power to connect. connect.